South Florida Pete Love Eye. The holiday edition. You know what we got right here? It's the Pete Lovers. So, well, considering that uh, there's only Pete here and perhaps over there in the Sprint Bank, but I think it's just a little bit of smoke. <clears throat> All right, there's this cat that tried to correct what I was saying earlier in one of the videos. Pete and smoke. To me, that's different. I don't see how you could have Pete, uh, you could have Pete and smoke, but there's Pete and there's smoke. Uh, normally, <clears throat> the peat is what really smokes the barley, the malted barley, and that's how you get that peaty smokiness taste. But I've had scotch that they're only smoky. There's not necessarily any peat. Like for instance, uh, mm. what's that? Oh, bro, but at least let them know what the fuck it is that we're doing. When you started talking shit before we shut the fuck what up. We're doing peat and smoke. I think it's a difference of opinion. In my opinion, you could have peat and smoke, oh. or you could just simply have peat and not necessarily smoke, you know? Smoke yeah. sometimes comes from char barrels, you know? Not necessarily because of the peat, you know? Peat is utilized to dry the barley as opposed to having just, you know, regular fire. But you know what? That's a difference of opinion, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. I don't see it any different. Yeah, open that shit up. Like, oh yeah, but you gotta find me a cup or something to spit on. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you're there, show them what the fuck it is we're doing. All right, so got some good buddies of mine that sent me this wonderful, wonderful bottle. It says a time, I mean a fine Christmas malt. It's a 17 year old Look at that. from Space Side, 58 percent, 58.7 percent alcohol by volume. It's got a nice little UK little sticker there, uh, 700 milligrams. Um, I don't know what it is, but the color is phenomenal. And you know what, bro? Are there that's independent bottles right or something? There. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Are there independent bottles? Is that independent what? bottling for the whiskey exchange, actually. Right. So this this baby right here was sent to us. Uh, actually, it was hand delivered and. Um, I can't even wait. So I've been waiting for this holiday edition uh, video for us to do this simply because we just want to know what it is. Yeah. So the fact that a space size single malt is 50.58.7, that's like a cast that's strength. That's cast strength. If it's natural color, which is, I don't think it indicates it, right? If it's natural color. 17 year old. And this is the holiday oh edition God. bottle it for 2018. Like sherry. Pure sherry. It's got sherry for sure. Bro, it's a really nice. Pour some of that shit, bro. Let's see what it's got. Wow. Uh, we'll do a video after this with another bottle they brought me from the UK. It's a Talisker 57 degree north. Uh, and this bad boy is 57%. Let me and tell so, you. The only other distillery that does this, that I, that, at least that I know, is Avalor. Avalor. Abuna. Mm -hmm. So I don't know anything about this malt. Um, no. But it says there's nothing in the world so interestingly oh, wow. contagious as laughter in good whiskey. And I have to agree with that. So let's see what we got here. It's got a very, very it beautiful smells, color. It smells clean, fresh. Yeah. It's got, uh, you know, we don't use the terms Christmas cakes like some of the folks from the UK do, but my understanding is that if it's Christmas cake, what I'm smelling here, it is Christmas cake. Oh, uh, it's cake. I mean, it there's like cake batter smell. Yeah, to this. batter. That's what it is. But it's it's really really nice on the nose. No peat, really sweet. Yeah, sweet fruits. Fruits, yeah, flowers. I don't know which kind, but it's like toffee caramel. It's definitely caramel. Yeah, type. Oh man, yeah. Mm. Like it's coming through really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Matter of fact, you know, it's hard to tell in these glasses if they got good legs uh, because of the, the shape of the actual glass. Um, so it doesn't kind of, you can't really feel it somewhere and then let it drip. But it's got some, whatever I can see is it's got a little bit of viscosity. I don't see it being too oily. And you know, for 57%, it does, you can't even pick up the, the alcohol. Yeah, no, it's been in 17 years, bro. Wow. 
So, a really nice bottle. Cheers, fellas. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Now I feel the alcohol. Little peppery. Little pepper in my ass. Motherfuckers like dolphin blackened. Little peppery. Oh, Ooh. man, it's delicious. It's strong, but it's really nice. Oh, and I'll tell you this, I've been pounding this uh, Lafroy Triple Wood. Really good stuff. <laughs> I think I'm going to stick to that. But we got, yeah, but we got a fucking awesome lineup coming up, too. Yeah. Because we don't, bro, this shit right here, we haven't done. What is that? The, oh, the Battle Heaven. The Buna Heaven. That's independent bottle, yeah. Yeah. We got this Battlefield. That's pure American oak. This is a Buna Heaven aged eight years, and yeah. it's delicious. Well. Me como llevo. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do the spring bank. We never done a, a spring bank. I see you have a Nika coffee something. Yeah, I got the Nika on there. I got this one right here now, the Suntory, that one. Oh, I love Suntory. Suntory the tort, Distillery. I got the tort on there. Uh, we got a few. Um, did we do the Fire and Cane? No, we haven't done we that. We got the Fire and oh, Cane. We got a lot of shit to cover. I'm telling you. A so, lot of ground to cover, not so, enough time. Anyway, so to tell you, I don't even know who made it and for their bottling. But it's very long lasting. I can still taste it. You know, oh, yeah, it's very, uh, it's not really oily. <clears throat> um, mm. But when, you know, but it dissolves really well. I mean, the flavors in this is out of this world. It's a lot of sherry. It reminds me of Avalauer. Yeah, 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 kind of like a 16. I've, I've been pounding a triple wood Lafroy again. Mm. Normally, once you start doing pity shit, you can't pick up on this. But the alcohol volume is so high wow. on this particular bottle. The second, the second one was even better. It, it's it's blown the Lafroy out, out of the <clears throat> out of the. Oh mat. man, it smells like a vanilla monster, bro. bro there's a lot of sherry in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, whatever this is, the whiskey exchange did whatever they put in this shit right here is phenomenal. Oh, this is a hidden gem. Yeah, bro. Seventeen year old. They brought me this specifically hand delivered. From the UK, they went to the whiskey exchange or whatever, yes. brought it to me, and I'm really grateful. Thank you, fellas. I can't disclose the name for a variety of reasons, but you know, thank you very much. But I'll tell you this, 17 year old, high strength. I don't know if it's specified whether it's not your filter or natural color, but this is easy, easy. I will say a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, and it's a special, they only make it for Christmas over there. So they brought it to me before Christmas. Oh, this is beautiful. And it's a, it's a wonderful dram. Matter of fact, I want to drink another one, but we're going to close this one out. we got a whole bunch, li uh, another lineup of stuff coming up. We're going to have to try to fit it in with everything else we got going on. All the family in town right now, uh, they came to visit me, my brother from Miami, my mother, everybody else is here. So we got a party at 20 here, and we got we to gotta cater to that while we still cater to, you know, to our <laughs> channel and to our followers and to all of our friends and, and whiskey tubers. Um, Thank you for following us. Really appreciate it. 29, 2018 coming to a close. Hopefully 2018 will bring a whole bunch of other cool stuff for us. Bro, I don't even think I'm gonna drink anything else. Well, we're gonna we're gonna pound this today. But there's wow. a lot of shit we gotta do. So listen, for the South Florida P lovers, this is the holiday edition. And um, um, this is a, I don't know what even to call it, a Christmas bump 2018, yeah. specifically bottled for the whiskey exchange. <clears throat> for the South Florida P lovers. Stay tuned for the yeah, next one. Yeah, this is a thumbs up, fellas.